polite to plead everyone with the peace of the Lord. In reverence to the word of God, let's stand up at this time. We're going to read the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 13. Verse 14. Genesis 13, verse 14. Genesis 13, 14. <coughs> and the Lord said to Abraham, After Lot had separated from him, Lift your eyes now and look for the place where you are worthward, southward, eastward, and westward. For all the land which you see, I gave it to you and to your descendants forever. Lord, I would thank you. And we thank you for everything you have done for us in our lives. We plead for the blood of Jesus. God, we thank you because we know that you have been offered already. God, we ask for you to complete this blessing in our hearts. In the name of Jesus, we plead. Amen. The brothers may be seated at this time. <coughs> the word that we just read, it talks about the call of Abraham. That is a text in the book that says, Many are called. But just a few are picked, are chosen. But the call of Abraham was actually a choice. God chose Abraham for because through Abraham, his name will be known through all people, all languages, all tribes, and all nations. <coughs> And the descendants of Rabahan will be just like the stars that is the ha and that will be his descendants. And we see the, ha the f fulfillment of the word because the service that we are doing tonight is for the honor of Lord for the Lord of Israel the Lord of Abraham for our God that came to his misericordy through Jesus Christ the descendants of Abraham in the book that we read it talks about the moment that God he called Abraham and I believe with the many of you that are here tonight, the day already, once already heard the voice of Lord, heard the call of Lord to your life. That's why we are here tonight in His presence, because He have called us. And there's a song that says, once have called us to His light. So God call us to His light. Call us to his project for a plan that he have for my, for your, and for our lives. And the plans of, of the Lord are always bigger and better than ours. <coughs> the Bible says that the way of life is up. Many are the thoughts of those who are outside and Abraham he received the call of God the orientation of God for his life God came to Abraham and said to Abraham Abraham leave your house leave your family members those have nothing to do with the house of their parents and their family because because uh, the Bible says save you and your family members 
So God actually separated Abraham and said, leave the house of your father, leave your family. And the project of God is just like that for our lives. We have to leave some things behind. So the fulfillment and the promise of God could fill your li our lives. The, the apostles of Christ said, Lord, we left everything to serve you. Left all the nets behind the boat on the shore of the beach. They left. We left everything to serve you. And God says, Jesus says that he spoke to his disciples. He was there to give a word. We left everything to serve you. What are you going to get now? And then Lord shows that there was a thing, there was a reward. On the servant, he had great qualities. But Jesus said, sell everything you have. Leave everything behind and come and follow me. But he preferred the things that he had, the, the things that he owned. And then he didn't follow the, the path that Jesus had prepared for him. And the text right now, Jesus says to uh, God says to Abraham, leave your family, leave everything behind. Because Jesus known that if he stayed at the house of his parents, he would be influenced by his parents. Many of us, when we start believing in God, just like that happens. When I came to talk to my parents about Lord, my parents said, no, you're crazy. This thing is not right. The Lord said, no. But, you know, they were right. You know why? Because they, they didn't have the experience with God. And if my brother had the experience that I had, they would say the same thing. Leave this stuff behind. And they were trying to persuade But he was trying to follow the path that God has prepared for him. So he was trying to leave everything behind because he was trying to follow what God had prepared for Abraham. So leave everything behind, get out of the house of your parents because I'll guide you to a project. And in the mind of God, the project was already done, but Abraham didn't know about this project. So he had to go by faith. By th faith, I walk. And if we look in the Bible, in the Word of God, Abraham was justified by faith. Because without faith, it's not possible. It's impossible to plead the Lord. So, Lord will tell Abraham, Abraham, leave the house of a father and go to a land that I'll show you. And he makes a promise to Abraham. Abraham, I'll bless those who bless you. I'll give a nation. And you, you'll be great. So that was God talking directly to Abraham. Showing him a project for his life. For his family. For his house. Because the desire of God is always to bless our families, to bless our family members. So God called Abraham and said that. And the word says that Abraham, with that word, he left. But Abraham, he left with his, wi her, his wife. But now it says Abraham, but before it was Abraham. But as God has determined for his life, he kind of changed a little the project. And when we change just a little the project of God, 
and also there's just a little consequences you know the the word says the law of God is perfect in the end of the book of Revelation says you should never take anything and should never add anything and we as humans men's women's God show us a direction but sometimes we want to change just a little the project that, ha that God has prepared for our lives between the reason and the understand the human understanding our thoughts the 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 way that we think sometimes oh let's just change a little there's not gonna make any difference oh God told me to come in this way but I'm gonna go just that way just a little bit you know well the the things of God doesn't work like that sometimes we read the Bible we say oh this verse it's not for me oh this verse is really good Oh, this one is spiritual. Oh, this one I accept. This one I don't. <coughs> and the Lord told Abraham, leave your town, between, leave your family. And what did Abraham did on that day? Just like Abraham left, just like God had told him. And... Lot went with him. God didn't tell Abraham to bring Lot with him. God told Abraham to to bring your wife, his wife, and his children. You're gonna get the things that you have, and you're gonna leave to a land that I that I'll let you know. Amen, Abraham. Abraham. He brought a lot with him. And sometimes our brothers, our spiritual life is just like that. In the, our walking, God speaks with us. He gives us a direction. But sometimes we put extra thing in the package. And sometimes the, the things that we add in our bag, is, it, it's a problem. It's a it's a heavy weight because it's out of the it's out of the things that God had prepared for our lives and the Bible says my brother that Abraham left with thought and he he went to Egypt and in Egypt he he kind of got in some fights the the Pharaoh actually wanted to fight him, was against him. The Egypt was against his wife. See, all the problems. Abraham almost lost his wife. Sometimes our attitudes bring those consequences. And in the middle, in the middle of all those fights, he decided to leave Egypt, and but he didn't lose his wife. Do you know why? Because God was with Abraham. Because God, he has, uh, because God is love. Because if it wasn't, because if it wasn't for God, he had, a, he would have a lot of problem in Egypt. We are servants of the Lord. We are in the Word, but we doesn't we, we don't belong to this Word. And we are not if we are not in the project that God has to our lives, we actually have this risk of losing his wife. But he didn't lose his ch child because he didn't have one on the time. So in that moment. The things started to get a little complicated. So he left Egypt. Egypt. He left Egypt. He understood that Egypt 
it wasn't the place for him. My brothers, I told you that Abraham was uh, separated from the Lord. We are separated. We don't belong to Egypt. And Egypt is not the place for our nation. We are in the world, but we don't belong here. The word, I'm not. There's a song that says just that. So he left the place, and the the struggles didn't stop there. Now the problem was inside of his house. Now it was his servants fighting with the servants of Lot. So they had a little problem outside of the house, almost lost his wife, and now the problem it is inside of their house. Now the it was a family problem because the problem was inside of their house. So there was a man, moment that Abraham said like, look, I have I have to fix this. I started the problem. Not my responsibility for me to fix it and get rid of it. So Abraham he looks, he calls his nephew. Excuse me. So um, there's no way that we can walk together anymore. Do you think they agreed? No way. But he said, you pick the way that you want to go. If you go to north, I'll go to so south. If you go to south, I'll go to north. The word of God says the lot he picked his choice and he looked at the the hills in Sodoma. So Lot actually no Abraham actually went to the mountains over there. And from the day on that he took the decision from separate from Lot, God told Abraham, get up right now, your eyes, look up. Why did Abraham said to Abraham, lift your eyes? Yeah. Oh yeah, he had made a promise. And the promise he haven't seen yet. The plan, the project of the God, the, the land that God had promised to him. Why? Because he was still looking down, because he was looking to the world, because he was looking to the things of this life. He was looking for his, to this, his reason, for his understanding. But on the day that he decided to fix, to separate himself, to actually walk him and God, no one else, better saying, God and him, God actually showed him the great project that he had for his life before he had heard of it. But now he would, he would actually use that use the the project that God had prepared for his life in the book of Joe oh uh, he said I've heard of it yeah I've heard about it but now I see and that when he separated himself from Lot it was the day that he could lift his eyes up it was the day that he could actually Plead the the plan that God had for His life. Lift your eyes right now and see where you at, my brothers, my sister. Now, now today, when you entered here, the house of God, the Lord tonight, ask you, no. Okay, he asks you, and we do it because we obey the Lord. Because 
because the direction of Kalarda to today is lift up your eyes. Look up. Looking to the God, the author and, and finisher of our faith. Look up. Look to the heavens right now. Look the project that I have to, to your life in your favor for you. And now that you have separated yourself from God, now you can see. Now I'll show you. Now you'll see. My brothers, there's some things that you have to get rid of it for you to see. If you don't get rid of it, you'll never see. You have the knowledge of the project of God, but the project of God will never get done if you don't fix it. If you don't get rid of it. There's things in our life that we have to have a decision to get rid of it. And it's not God that's going to do that. It's not me, it's you. You have to do that. It's your choice. It has to be your decision. Because the salvation, it only depends on you. It doesn't depend on you. God, God doesn't depend on your salvation because He loved everyone in our church. God loved everyone and gave us the eternal life. So, who believes in God will be saved. Who doesn't, it won't. So, that will that could not change and here Abraham understood that he had to separate himself from Lot because I need in my life so I could see for complete the project of God I know what it is in the, in the supper of the Lord you, you exempt yourself. I'll ask another task. Uh, it, it is in Psalms. It's search me, O Lord, and know, and know my heart, and see if there's an, and see if there is a wrong way in my heart and fix it. So, when Abraham couldn't see what God represented in his life, so. Abraham said, oh, show me, what is this lot? What is this thing that I have been, what is this thing that have been in my life that is not making me see the project of God? If you ask Lord that, he'll show you. In the day that he'll talk to you, when he had that gift, even before, two years ago, three years ago, ask and you, you will understand that you have to get rid of it, this thing. Because if you don't, that's a problem. And the struggles. There was some struggles in Egypt. And now we are in the world. And we need to maintain ourselves. And the resources, our pl problems in, the, in our work, in their college, in our college and sometimes problems in our house. And the problem there, it was Abraham. He was a problem because he didn't do the things that, ha that God had asked him. God had uh, shown tonight a family that they were on a journey, but this journey was, was they were having some struggles. But the Lord shows that the husband was using this map, and this map was kind of broke. See, if um, if I have a, a map, and this map is not right, the map of, for the treasure is that way, and the map is showing that, the other way, I will never reach that. I'll be making holes, holes, and I'll never find that. So I will get mad, I will get stressed, because, why? Because I'm taking the wrong decisions, the wrong decisions for our lives. And this is what's happening to this family. The map is wrong. But let me tell you something, 
Lord that doesn't give a map with wrong directions. It was you that did something. But Lord, tonight, God, God was fighting and was telling this, this man, he was given a perfect map. And the map had all resources that he would need so they could, in the way, reach the victory. The map, my brother and my sister, is this, the Bible. Read all the tasks because they will make you understand. Read and you see the power of God. This has the map. Through the Bible, God will guide us. God guide us. God showed us examples. All the examples that are here, they're good for our lives. And here we are going to find our salvation in God. It's here that we are going to see the text that says, Give your way, believe in Him, and He will do everything. My brother, my sister, give your life to the Lord. Give your way to the Lord. And He will do everything else. Because you have already done, you already fixed everything. And through Him, you'll find all the sources that you need for this life here and for your life in eternity. Okay, let's sing a song.
church will stand up at this time. God, we plead and we thank you, Lord. We're grateful for one more time that we are here in your presence. Lord, you have con you have conducted us all days. You have been showing us all the ways for our lives. We thank you, Lord, and we plead because of for your grace, misericordy. Through the blood of Jesus, we thank you because of you have stayed with us in your presence. We thank you, Lord, because you have shown us once more your presence. Take us home to your takes home and safety. We plead in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, a good eternal Father, and sweet and tender consolations of the Holy Spirit with the people of God, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen to the brothers now. The brothers may be seated. <laughs> so, those who want to, they want an understanding for the word, from the gift, uh, stay here and we'll give you the assistance. Uh, just remember the service on Saturdays at 7.30, the tomorrow morning at 10.30, and I tomorrow 7.30 and during the weekend and A on Thursday. And there's going to be a little, a little meeting with Group B. Oh, praise the Lord.